Hey, my name is Michelle and welcome to Moxie. I am assuming if you're watching this video, you are brand new to Moxie and I hope that you are diving in and getting excited all about your business. Um, this video specifically is designed if you are kind of just getting started with your freelance business, maybe you've got just a couple of clients and you sort of want to see maybe just for invoicing or maybe just for project management, you want to get um, a little bit started uh, with your business. If you already have your business up and going, there is a separate video made just for you that will be a little bit more in depth about using your pipeline and all of those pieces. Not that those are not important, but this is designed to get you and your one or two clients up to speed and ready to go in Moxie, and then you can continue to learn a these are the top six things that I would get started with in Moxie based on literally my own experience. So here is what I did when I started using Moxie. Uh, I have a voice work freelance gig. And uh, for me, I really wanted to have professional invoices that went out on time. And uh, I didn't have to track like, oh, did I send that invoice? Did they still owe me this money? Okay. Here we go. Here's what I would get set up. So we're going to start here in your workspace settings and we're going to set up your business first. So um, this is your logo. It is totally optional, but it is going to be included in a few places by default. So I would upload your logo here. I have a picture of my face. Um, you can upload whatever you want here, or you can also leave it blank and it will be empty. Um, add in your legal name, your entity type, and all of this information. Um, this will get included again by default in lots of places including on your invoices. So um, fill out as much information as you want to, as you want your clients to have. Okay. Um, that's two things, logo, contact info. Next, we're going to go in and um, create a client. So um, you'll click clients and you can click the plus button and you can add in your new client here. Um, the, this is a uh, a client that you're already working with. If you want to start adding a prospect, you can do that here for a client that you're not quite working with yet. You want to make sure that you'll add in your billing information. So um, this would, this again, because we're going to send an invoice to this client or an agreement, we want to get this up and going. Uh, and so you want to add in your information here um, because this is where you're going to send all of the emails. So whatever contact info you have, highly recommend setting that up. Um, so here's your client. We've got that going. Okay. That's going to take you into your client. And um, if you bill on an hourly rate, you can also add that here in your invoicing and payment settings. So you can add in your hourly rate here, and you can even uh, choose to bill on 15 minute or um, one hour, whatever increments you want to choose. Um, you can do that. You can add in your payment terms here, a late payment fee. This is all um, going to populate in your invoices when you do that. So um, add Add in that information here. And if you want to pass on your Stripe credit card fees to a client, if you're going to use online payment. Okay. We'll get to that in just a minute. Don't worry. Okay. So we've added your client. Um, if that's not the way you're going to bill, you're not going to bill based on an hourly rate. Um, we're going to create a project. Again, I told you I have a, a voice work freelance business, so I'm going to create a voice work project here. And this is where you can get a little bit more granular in the way that you bill. So you want to set up your billing. Um, I bill on a recurring rate. And so I'm going to set up my billing to be 500 monthly, and I want that to be paid in advance. You can set up your billable periods here as well. So let's say you have a one-year contract or a six-month contract. You can set that up to only bill for that set amount of time. Um, so there are your project settings. You can also create tasks if you want to get really granular and use this for project management. This is the beginning of that as well. So you'll create a project that's kind of your big scope, like this is the big thing that you're doing for your client. And then tasks are the individual things that are going to get you there. So that's the way you can think about that. But now I've got my fees set up here. So let's take a look at invoices. If you simply want to just send an invoice based on your project, you can click send an invoice. Here is 
the default invoice that is set up within Moxie. And we're going to add our tracked hours or billable projects. And here is that billable project that I created. Again, because I chose to be paid in advance, that's why I have this option here to get paid today for work that hasn't been done yet. If you get paid in arrear, so after the work has been done, then you wouldn't have this yet. You would only get that option once the uh, time period is closed. So any billable projects that you haven't billed for are going to show up here to be added to an invoice when you click on this tracked hours or billable projects. You can always add an ad hoc item just by clicking this add new line item. Um, you'll slowly build out this products and services library. You can just click and add um, an item here with, um, with its rate um, and how many. So if you are doing something like a blog and you're going to have a 1500 word blog, maybe you charge a dollar a word. Um, that's how you can do that as well. Okay. So then you're going to share this with an invoice. You can either download it and send it yourself. You can choose to send via a Moxie email. You can um, just type in your email here, um, or you can use a template. We're going to get to that in just a moment as well. Um, so there is a regular invoice, not a recurring invoice. If you do want to set up recurring invoices, um, you can do that by clicking on either accounting or on the client as well. Um, I'm going to show you just through accounting for a different view. So we're going to click on the plus button. We're going to choose our client here. So I was making that under our test here. And then I'm going to choose a recurring invoice because this is going to happen month over month. So here are the settings for that. These are going to show up here in your payment instructions and whether or not you want to do online payments and payment reminders then uh, you set up your recurrence. So I like to look at my invoices before I send them. A lot of people don't like to do that because I, I know I'm kind of an outlier here. Um, if you want to review the invoice before, you're going to uncheck this button. Otherwise, you can set up these invoices to get sent uh, automatically. And you can choose your own personalized email template. Promise I'm going to get there. Um, you can also choose to automatically charge on the due date. So if you're using an online payment system, that means that you... Uh, the first time your client will be asked to enter their information and after that it will automatically charge that card on the due date. Um, you're going to want to include in my example, you'll want, I just want to include billable projects because I'm not going to bill hourly. However, if you do bill hourly, you'll want to of course include your billable hours. Um, if you're just doing billable projects, then you can see here's that project. If I only want, if I had several projects and I wanted to only include one or two of them here, um, you would uncheck the all and then you would have the option just to add. Um, whichever projects you wanted. So um, you set up your recurrence here and now I've got an automatic recurring invoice um, that's going to send off to the client um, the email that you set up with your client um, already, which is why we did that. Okay. So there is automatic recurring invoices. You'll be able to see those um, by going to accounting and invoices and recurring invoices. You'll also be able to see them in your uh, client here as well. So this is the regular invoices and there's also the recurring invoices. Okay. Other bits that you should set up include getting your online payments connected. So that's workspace settings, connected apps, and then payment providers. You can add PayPal and Stripe. There are fees uh, associated with these. Moxie doesn't take any fees on top of what these folks are already collecting. So um, you will have fees, but they are going directly to Stripe and PayPal in case you were curious. So um, you'll be able to connect an existing or create a new Stripe account here as well. Um, the other bit that you'll want to set up is your email templates. So um, whether that's sending an agreement or sending an email or um, forms when you get there, um, you'll want to set up templates that you're going to use every time to send all of that information. So we do have a template library. So when you click on the plus button, you can look through email templates that already exist. So maybe that's finding um, a new invoice. You just click on import and that will pull that into your Moxie account. 
and you'll be able to edit and use it. So you'll want to set up um, an invoicing email. Um, eventually, you know, you'll have kind of all of these options here. So you can see we've got a deposit email here, payment confirmation, due date approaching, past due notification, lots of great options um, in this Moxie Essentials. The other piece when it comes to your invoices is setting up your preferences. So under workspace settings and preferences, you can see here under invoices, I'm not sending any invoice reminder emails, but if you have a client who notoriously doesn't pay on time, you can set up automatic uh, invoice reminders on this frequency. And here's where uh, you can see where you can add in your own email templates. We have kind of a standard very blase uh, <laughs> emails that go out on your behalf if you don't have these filled in. But of course, it's you, it's your brand, it's your company. So um, we recommend creating your own email templates. And then this is where you would add those for um, things like payment confirmation, the due date is coming, and um, a past due notification. This is also where you'll set your default payment instructions. That's always able to be rewritten on your invoice. But if you just want kind of a standard set, this is where um, you could create that. So reviewing very quickly, the six things that I would make sure I got set up in my Moxie is workspace settings and all of the information here in my business, getting a client set up, even if you work on just like a test client to see kind of your workflow and how it works, your test client along with their information, start by creating a project and adding the billing to that project and then work on a test invoice to see how that works. I will show you here in templates. There are uh, invoice templates as well. You'll get one um, kind of default template, but you're able to import and create new invoices uh, just so they look exactly the way that you want them to look. Um, so we've got our logo, contact info, client and project settings. I would set up my uh, connected payment settings if you want to do online payments and make sure that you check in from workspace settings over to templates and set up email templates. Take a look at the invoice template and make sure um, that you like that invoice template as well. There are, of course, a ton of other things that Moxie can do for you. This is a super basic introduction to one thing that you can spend about 50 15 minutes getting set up in your Moxie as a test so you can get a feel for um, some of the very, very basics of working with Moxie. Anytime you have questions, you can always click on the question mark up here. Um, there are some excellent articles and videos here in the Help Center, especially under Getting Started. Or if you want to take a look at something specific, um, you can see we've got videos and help docs supporting every single element that's within uh, Moxie. And if you need more help, you can always choose the chat with us. We're happy to answer any questions that you have.